this is also a best example to use a center point rectangle and the slot and the mirror mirror command so so all that one is coming in the same example here okay so in this one you can see the rectangle with some specific fillet radius the fillet radius is 15 okay this rectangle and then this rectangle then the another rectangle okay whose sizes are given here all the rectangles are having a common center point okay so it is better to use the center point rectangle here it's a best example for it because all that all the rectangles is having the common center okay so let us try to make this example let's create a new document So here first boundary is having a di dimension of 80 and 100 okay first let us define that it is outermost boundary let's define that so a center point rectangle which is of height is 80 and the outermost width is 100 okay right 80 the next rectangle is 70 and 90. Ninety and 70. The next rectangle is 60 and 80. 80 and this is 60. Where it is 90 only. Okay. So three rectangles we have drawn. Okay. But here you are having the curvature, the fillet. Okay. So fillet radius is given as 50. Okay. So let us try to draw that fillet. This of radius 15. Let us apply fillet. For this one this one this one and this one okay. the four fillet the radius it is 15 okay by 15 here and in the next one you are having two fillet and two chamfer okay so in the 3d you can able to make the chamfer directly but in this case you have to draw it manually so here you have to draw it manually this blend okay so the chamfer you have to make it manually there is no separate uh, chamfer command on the sketching okay so here let's try to make this two radius of radius five okay. try to make this one and this one of radius one. I think I have, I have to do it on a separate command because it is taking the previous radius. Okay. Try to do it again. So the radius between this one and this one is five. Okay. So this radius is five. That's what. Okay. So this radius and this radius is applied. Now we need to do this chamfer. Okay. So they have given the chamfer is uh, chamfer is pi cross pi. So what is the meaning for that is? So from this, if I extend a line here and from here, so you are having a intersection point. From this intersection point, this distance is pi, and this distance is five. Okay. So that is a meaning here. 
So let us try to draw the chamfer over here. Okay. Let's draw a line. between this one and this one. Let's try to draw a chamfer line and then make the dimension between these two points as five and between these two points as five. Okay. We got the line, but we have to make the chamfer over here by uh, uh, using a command called the tree. Okay. So here that five is there. So these two portions we have to make a trim. But before making a trim, let me try to mirror this one over here. Okay. If possible, let us try to mirror it. But exactly it should be on the corner. Okay. If it is like a square, if I draw a mirror line, it will be easily coming over here. But it is not exactly symmetrical. If I draw a line here, it is exactly not symmetrical. So I have to do it manually. Okay. If it is like a square, if I draw a diagonal here, both sides will be symmetric. But here it is not symmetrical if I draw a line along the diagonal. So I have to draw it manually. Okay. Let's try to prove the manual drawing of this one on the other side okay try to draw a line here between this one and this one okay so let's dimension between these two points as five and between these two points as five Now let us do the trim of this unwanted portions. So we can make a chamfer here and a chamfer here. Okay. So we got the chamfer now. You can see it over here. So both sides we got the chamfer. So now two things are remaining. One is these two circles, and other one is this lot. Okay. So let us try to make the two circles first. Then let's try to make a slot. Okay. Or you can make a slot here. Then you can make the two circles. So whichever is preferred, we can do it. Okay. So here, in order to draw the two circles, which is like a mirror image. Okay. So for that one. This center line is required. Okay. So let us try to draw that one. Okay. So here a center line is required, which is of dimension 20 mm. Okay. This dimension is 20, which is given over here. And this line is exactly on the center between these two. So from here, you can dimension that as 10. Okay. So that it will be equally distributed from the center. And this line, we have to make it. That line is having an angle of 45 degrees because it is like a replica here on the opposite side. Okay. So if this is 45, then this angle is 45. It is having a length of 18. And this is 10. Okay. So let us try to make a line from here and a horizontal line here. Okay. So this dimension they have given it as 18. This dimension they have given it as 10. Okay. And the angle between this one and the vertical is 45. Okay. Similar way, let's try to make on the other side, so this side and this one. Okay. So let us try to make it from here, a line and a horizontal line. Okay. 
So make that as a construction. Then change the dimensions over here. I'll cut to this. Now you can provide the dimensions. Okay, this one and this one is 45. And this length is 10. And the length of this line is 18. Okay. So now we have got the center line, what they have drawn over here. So you just need to draw the slot. Okay, the slot is of diameter four, which is given over here. The diameter is four. Okay, so let us try to make a slot. You just apply the slot here. Okay, so you can see it. So if I select the slot. It is coming as this one, which is of diameter 4, which is given over here. Okay. The diameter is 4, so let's click it. Okay. So, only thing is the unwanted portions should be deleted. So, let us try to delete the inner portions of it. So now you can see it over here. So everything we have drawn it exactly as per the requirement. Okay. So it is like a slot. I have drawn the slot proper. Okay. Now the next one is we need to draw the circle. Okay. So let us try to draw the two circles over here. Two circles which is of diameter, sorry, radius 5 and another radius is 10. Okay. And the distance between that from the center is 19.9. Okay. Let's draw two circles. So one radius is 5, so diameter is 10. And another radius is 10 so diameter is 20. So two diameters is given over here and from the center to the center it is 19.9. Okay. So from this center to the center it is 19.9. Okay. So now if you do the mirror image so you no need to draw it again. If you do the mirror, then it will come exactly over here. Okay. You do the mirror. The mirror line is this. Entity is to be mirrored is this. Get so I'm sure. Now we got it. So only this two is there. So let's try to make it as a fix. If one is fixed, the other one is automatically fixed. Okay. So we got a fully constrained sketch. 